Hello, this is Tony Tony's Music and the Administrative Doodle and Tony PNGs. I'm going to start you off with Affinity Designer for the continuation of um, designing and animating a character GIF. Right, and this is part two. So, what we're going to do is we've just clicked on Affinity Designer. We're going to close the splash screen for new documents as I've already saved the um, head as design tutorial character right so I can put that back on now what I forgot last time was to rename the front of the hair so I need to do that first to front hair right uh, you really need that so Need to put that right then what I'm going to do is select all of it including the hair and everything all together select it all and create a group I'm going to call it the head okay so that's that right now with the head what I should have done on the face first basically sorry we're going to the face I need to make sure I've got a little bit of a stroke on there so it's point two on that just to show you the where the chin is and that sort of stuff right other than that that's complete now really right okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the main body or the chest area and stuff right I'm just gonna oops I picked the wrong one up sorry just give me a moment to just cut that off and just use a rounded rectangle sorry do that put that to a certain size like that be okay um, I'm gonna bring it up towards the chin but not too close I need to put the neck in I'm just aligning it like that so that I can know where about I've got to put the neck because you need to have it about there on the chest and about there on the face and I use the edges of each eye to be the um, idea of where the neck should reach across to right, like so like that we do that and bring that dead neck down a little bit like that right now that's gonna check we're gonna change the color of that neck to base color so we do that oh it's all right it's on the uh, outline and you shouldn't be it should be on that bit right so I need to change that to that color right now the outline I'm going to change that to black but I'm going to make sure that the stroke is only point two. so it's only just seeable really but you know it's how you can see it right now that's got to go right at the back so we need to arrange move to back there you go that looks pretty good and you can um, convert it to curves if you wish so we can give it a bit of a curve make it look a bit nicer you know it's not necessary but you can do it if you wish like that just do it like that and then just bring it in it looks it does look a little bit better like that all right okay what is that um what we're gonna do next is we're gonna adjust this the shape of the rounded rectangular um chest section right so we can get it into somewhat of a shape that we we really want right so first of all i'm going to move these over like that to where the next starts off there like that on that side and this side as well like that then i'm going to pull that down a little bit let's look a cropped neck around there and it's also made the shoulders a bit more reasonable right now we're going to cut there to a barrier then I want to do a slight in turn there and do another line there and then pull that in a little bit there as well so he's got a bit of shape to his body yeah maybe a little bit more on this side I'm doing it enough on that side a little bit more that's it okay now this bottom bit here that's not right we, we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two by 
drawing album like that so I've selected them two and I'm going to do edit delete right the reason for that is I want the curve right now if you see on a person's waist when you see them it curves down like that right so I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more like that right okay that's fine now what we're going to do is add um, the hip part to it because I haven't named this part the neck and I'm going to name the hip until after but I'm going to just add a little shape here a rectangle, a rounded rectangular shape because it seems to be the most useful for me at the moment to do what I need to do so I'm going to change this to a blue colour for the as you notice with all these I am with the body the main body I'm going to get rid of the line of the outline and with the hip I'm going to do the same as well get rid of it that line the reason being is when you're moving your arms and legs about um, if they've got a line on it looks weird it don't look right so without without the lines it looks more normal basic oops done that the wrong one now I just do that and then I'm gonna click on that to get rid of that okay right I don't know what you whether you saw what I'd done then I'd actually put the blue color on the outline which I didn't want so what I did was I used this double arrow up here to switch them round so instead of it being the blue outline it was the blue solid part and the outline was changed to the um, skin colour which I've just taken off as well by clicking the circle with the red line through it at the bottom here that takes that one off whichever one's um, selected so if I, if I click it now the solid part will be um, erased if I do that the outline's erased when I click on that one okay right um, now what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a shape so that it looks similar to how the top half of some trousers would look right so because we're going to have the hip here this is the hip and you're going to have the legs coming through here right so what we need to do is make sure that's high enough so that it covers inside there so we can pull that out a little bit if we need to not all the way because we want to make sure that the top is covering the the bottom really okay so we can um, convert to curves like that just bring that in a little at that side and that side so they don't don't peek out anywhere where it shouldn't we just pull it in a bit like that's it right now we're going to do here we're going to do up a little bit there bring these in a bit like that so it's like, like shorts really we do a shorts kind of idea there then when you put the legs on the legs will be going into those areas right you can you can bring it down a bit as well if you wish make it a longer part there so we do that a little bit right so that's his main midsection and that right I'm just gonna arrange that to the back move to back like that and there you go that looks all right um, I just need to even it up this side because that isn't exactly even there that's better that's more even right now we're going to do the arms and the legs right now with the top of his arm we're going to do um, first of all we're going to do quite a big rectangular shape but only like that right now the reason I'm doing this is because um, you either have the whole arm as the skin colour and if you do it'll look as though he's got like um, a top with no sleeves on or you have the, the top part of his arm looking the same as the sweater he's wearing or whatever it is it's on the outline which I don't want the outline so I'll do that and do that there you go like that right so you can do that then I want to what's it that so convert to curves and then get rid of those two there so edit delete them then take that up 
this way then we put a smaller arm inside that right so there we go we just do get the arm in like that we swing that round obviously and I'm gonna pull it back a little bit then I'm going to change the colour so colour change to that one right now we're going to put that inside there like that make it a bit smaller maybe turn it slightly right I need that to be inside that one and then bring this down that way a little bit more maybe percenter it a bit more like that right now let's just check that one where's that one there we can take that one up a little bit more actually so just about there right okay that's fine now what we need to do is get them two together make them a group okay so we've grouped them what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the sleeve part above the other right so that when he's using his arms the sleeve will go round over this more than the, that will hopefully um, right so now what I'm going to do is I've clicked on the arm itself and I'm going to convert it to curves with that so I can give it a bit of shape right so we go we'll do about here click on there now we need to make that, that little bit of shape there and then we're going to do same about here and do that there so it looks like his muscles are going in when he gets getting to the um, near the elbow right that looks pretty reasonable doesn't it right okay so that's okay now we need to do the lower arm first before I do the other side right so we'll do the lower arm now and we're going to do that just in same colour which is skin colour I suppose you'd say and we need to convert to curves with this one obviously because obviously the lower arm goes, goes in a lot like that and then down it, it goes back out again in a minute but not too much it goes let's move that down there like that and that one if I can get it there you go like that ok that's alright so there's his arm part I just need to put his hand on there then once I've done that I'm going to grab hold of the whole of the arm and put it together as one group in a minute so what we're going to do now is try and do the hand which is a tricky bit really the hand is quite tricky you have to it depends on how you do it well you can do it like this what i'd do is do a big piece first and then you can convert to curves like that and mess about with it like this by doing it this way um do that then another piece down here click on here that there then do click on down here do that and keep doing things like that or cut you can do this which is what I, I have done in the past a few times get a circle get a few of these rectangular shapes to make the shape of the hand with adding pieces like this so you can do that copy paste and then do one more here paste like that. paste and then you need you need to extend that slightly out slightly that way right like that. let's do that in a minute and get a form so we need another one of them paste 
and we do that and then we make it a little bit fatter and we can swing it round and do that and then you've got a hand and then we can uh, do all that and then reduce the size of it like that now that's pretty good but a little bit too close together so I might have to just bring them about a little bit right, bring that out a little touch across and bring that one across a little bit that's better now just do that one across that way a little bit maybe that way a little bit yeah and then you'd have to do something here on the end of there maybe that's not right so I need to just just that a little bit in bring it round a little bit bring it in a bit right and that's all the hand now we just group that and that's a hand you can um, improve it by using um, convert to curves on each one of these and making them more rounded if you wish you need to you know so if you want to do that you can do that if you wish there you go that's his hand there yeah, looks about right. Maybe might need a little bit, a bit wider. So just slightly. There you go. That's it. Right. Now I need to get the whole of that from there to there. Ish. Right, and reduce the size of it slightly. And there. There you go. That's about right, isn't it? And then what you need to do now is copy that and paste and flip and you've got the other arm yeah and you've got two arms there you can move the these about a little bit because that's a bit off so just do move it that way a little touch and the same with this one that one's a little bit off if i need to that way a little bit and then bring it that way and little adjustments help sometimes I mean you can do the same with the arm and as well adjust that slightly just this one slightly like that that one looks a bit off still so I need to put that back a little bit that's it, that's it. there you go right so now what we do is we need to get the arms together so we're going to group the arms and the hands right so let's do that right now that's make sure you put them to the right ones that's that one and you do change the name of that one to left arm right okay so that's with that in it i think should be in it yeah it's in it right and that's and that's the left hand left hand right that's that and change that one. Oh, that one's supposed to be in there. It should be in there. Oh, it is in there. Sorry. It's me. I'm going daft. Are we turning in there? No, we're turning in there. It should be in there with that. That's it. Well, right, that's better. Okay, now it's in there. Right. Okay, so that's the upper arm. Put upper. Arm. 
sleeve top or just sleeve put the sleeve it don't matter um, we ain't going to use them anyway that's just in case we need to use them in the future or something you might need to keep them like that right and um, that's upper arm itself no that's oh that's lower arm that one oh. forearm sorry that's a forearm I've, I've done the wrong one I need to copy that and change that to forearm I don't know this is the upper arm yeah paste okay and do the same with the right arm so we do put that in there not going in wait a minute it's that part I need to put in isn't it? that's the part that goes in there yeah right so now oh that's the wrong one duh donkey hang on that in there sorry Let's close that off after I put that back up there close that off a minute I saw the wrong one then where's the other arm gone can't see me other arm piece there it is that's it right now we now we sorted sorry that was my fault I couldn't tell what I was doing there let me put that at the top actually right now that is sleeve for that one yeah and that one's forearm and that one is upper arm okay so that's your right arm okay well it's looking pretty good now um, might need to scrunch him up a bit because he's a bit too big for the the bottom parts where his legs have got to come so I'll have to select the whole character if I can and then just bring it up like that. that's it we've got a bit more room now to play with right now the next part is going to be the legs and we can do some more rounded rectangular shapes you can have him um, his skin on like that but if you do that you need colour at least half of the top in the same colour as the shorts or whatever so uh, it looks all right when you're doing um, a animation otherwise it, it, when you need the legs to be at the front for any reason um, they'll be on top of that and it'll look weird like this I'll show you it'll look like that which is not really good is it you know so you need to think about what you're doing with it so I'm just going to do that for now and then I'm going to shape it so convert to curves. Let me do all these out like that and this out like that there. Then we're going to pull this in here a little bit around the knee area. Okay, like that. That looks pretty reasonable. Then we're going to, I'm going to change it to, um, I'm, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another rounded rectangle and cover the top part so there's a lot of good shorts on but I'm going to do the same as what I did here and make it a bit wider than that right so and then we're going to change the colour to equal that colour there right so that you can do that in order to make it look reasonably right we need to do that right so we do that you can still see the shape on his legs 
there you go so I'm just gonna make that a little bit wider so it covers his leg because down his legs I'll need to convert to curves on that and there so I can uh, make it look better right because I don't want that like that I want that like that that like that there yeah okay and then we can take that in a bit there now in a bit there as well so it ain't curving so much yeah okay and then this can go up that way a little bit more now that's it that looks better well now I need to do the same for the other side as well what I'll do is I'll just copy that and put it on the other side in a minute but what I want to do is do the lower leg first now the lower leg might have to reduce the size of this obviously I've got to change the colour of that now let's change the colour of that right now we're going to convert to curves again take that in a bit there where it's coming off the leg there and then we do that take it there that, that looks pretty good just need to bring the shin in at the front like that right so now this bit is going to be inside the shoe right so that's all right we need to just reduce the size of the hole of the leg obviously because it's not big enough for the rest of it it's got to be proportionate to the rest so we're going to do that in a minute right let me just put that down right so i'm going to collect select all the things we just done if you start that that and that and I'm going to push it up a little bit I'm just going to push it up a little bit like that and bring it this way a little bit uh -uh. okay that's all right okay so we've got that right now what I need to do is do the shoe hang on a minute let's just pull that in a bit there like that that's it now we're going to do the shoe by get another rectangular shape put it over here like this because it's got to cover that right now let's just do there like that. right now we can change the color to black on that completely on black that one if you want to or whatever color you want then we need to convert to curves again like that use an old tool and we can click here like this make a make a node here and bring that node down there like that to bring a shape for a show then we need this one to be deleted let's delete that one then we can make a roundness here by clicking up there like that that's the roundness of the show then we need click here click here bring this one up bring that one round there bring that one down there you go we've got the shoe right we can change this if we if you don't like it like that and bring it down a bit there you go right so that's the kind of shoe right and do that as well bring it that way a little bit give it a bit of style if you need to or back that way if you want um, it depends on what kind of shoe you want what kind of person's wearing the shoe now if you if you want it to be a man rather than a, a woman wearing a shoe you, you know you don't have to have such a high in step or anything like that or heel like that so you can have that sort of thing or bring it bring this forward even if you need to and then pull that more straight if you need be like that so but that's that's how you do the shoe you can do it different ways you can change the shoe to you now you might you might not need so much of a what's it on it and maybe a bit more forward like that yeah 
but you can do it design it how you want and that's basically it for that one so what I need to do now is select on that all of those things that we've just got done right and I'm going to click on the move tool and I'm going to use that to select copy and paste and flip over to the other side and put that one on that side like that and there you've got your character ready for tomorrow when I well well next week when I do the thingy actually I need to uh, just hang on a minute let's just undo that a second move it over a little bit you see what I did there I used edit and undo to undo the movement I've done so I could re-select it so do that again look like that and then I can move it back in a little touch there you go that's better yeah and this one I should ought to move that back in a bit really so what I'll do is I'll go to them and that right I'm going to move that in a little touch okay but that's your character ready for uh, doing animation um, we, we just need to rig it and we need to maybe design I don't know a logo on the front or you know something else like a belt on there or um, maybe pockets and stuff like that but that's how you start your character off I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you very much.